Hello and welcome to this week's video. It is a, and I'm not going to say, a New Year's resolution video because it seems that I have a different mindset about the new year. And so while this could be resolution-like, the premise behind what I'm going to talk about is more about setting intentions of what we want for the new year. And the reason why I've had a little bit of a shift in focus is the more that I've thought about it, Setting a resolution means that we're coming from a place of dissatisfaction, a place of maybe failure, a place of maybe I don't feel good about myself, therefore I want to do something that makes me feel good about myself. There's nothing wrong with that, but I think that it might be healthier and better to have sort of a vision of how we see 2020, how we see ourselves in 2020. What do we look like? What do we feel like? What are we doing? What healthy habits are we instilling? And so I am really making this more of an intention board, or as you will soon see, an intention box. As we sort of close the door to 2019, I think it's really important to take a moment and pause and reflect. What worked in this past year? What did we do where we set ourselves up for success? What new behaviors did we put into place that we would like to carry over in 2020? New mechanisms, new ways, things that are working for us. I think it's important to find our strengths throughout the entire year and what served us well. So think about that, reflect upon that. What is it that you would like to carry on into the new year to grow, develop, and enhance and take even deeper? It's like a root system, right? You're, you're developing something really good. Now you want that root system to go long and deep underground so that these things become habitual. Mm -hmm. You want this to basically become who and what you are. So find those things, take a moment, reflect, and see what it is that you can carry on into 2020. It's also important to acknowledge and recognize what didn't work well, what didn't serve us, areas where we may have fallen short. Were they proper or good goals to set? Are there areas where we need to possibly give more focus, a little bit more effort, a little more strength, intensity? What are some of the things that maybe uh, didn't work well for you or areas where you fell short that are important that you wanna bring into 2020 that you can hone in on a little bit more, give that little bit of extra intention and focus to really be able to sow a new seed, so to speak. So let's look at those things too. And at the same time, let's give ourselves a little bit of gratitude for the accomplishments made and a job well done. I think it's very healthy and important to see yourself in a positive light as we work to continue to and grow more positivity. So now, okay, setting intentions and what does that look like? This to me, this project, and it was a project, um, it kind of took me back to my school days and I really enjoyed it because because it was, it was multi-pronged. The first thing that I did was I actually sat there and I thought, what are the visions? How do I see myself? What brings me joy, peace, happiness, creativity, productivity, fulfillment? So I got to sit and really meditate on all of those things and what they look like. And the next thing I did was go to the computer because I wanted to capture images of what all of that looks like. Places where you wanna visit, talents and hobbies that you want to develop and set aside some time for. Health, wellness, obviously. Could be phrases, poems, words, sayings, things that really speak to you, speak to your heart and speak to your soul. Uh, it could be movement, it could be work, it could be going back to school, a new career, focusing on children more, anything, whatever comes to your mind, I want you to let those thoughts flow and really decide what it is that you want to hone in on in 2020 and how you want this year to look. Collect your images and then the next thing that we're going to do is to create an intention box. And I'll tell you why. Now you can do a storyboard if you want, but to me, the box is better. And I will go over all the things in my box here. I decided to give it a name, Clarity in 2020. Kind of a play on words, 2020, perfect vision, clarity. There you go. So I found myself a really cute little box and let me walk you through some of the intentions that I set for this upcoming year. 
The other thing that I put in was the back of my business card, Be Bold and Be Blessed, because it is symbolic of the message on this medium and the continuation of that and how important that message is to me and I believe it is to you too. So all decision making in terms of content centers around that sort of mission statement. I'll start on the upper left hand side. Obviously, pray, faith, God. Very important for me. Uh, the more connected I am to my spirituality, the better I feel my life goes. I collected an image here of what I consider to be the perfect beach. That clear water, that white sand, that's, that's just an image to me of a dream of a beach that I'd like to walk on and swim in, and so I'm, I'm determined to find that beach somewhere. The next thing that I've set my intention on is reading. Uh, I enjoy the stimulation of reading, and also this year I'm going to focus a lot of time on writing. I've always been a write writer. Creative writing is such an outlet for me and, and putting information down, so that's something big for me this year. The next thing is a clock, and that symbolizes being punctual. Uh, uh, this is an area I'm, I'm pretty good, but I think I can be better. So that's why the clock is on my intention box. Continuing on, uh, smoothies, juices, very healthy food, very important for me. Foods that look like this make me feel my best, so I'm going to focus on having that as much and as often as I can. Obviously, to continue my yoga practice, that's something that has been extraordinary for me this year. So diving deeper into that, uh, getting stronger, trying new poses and positions in the class as well. Of course, dance. This girl loves to dance. So any time and any opportunity, she's on there dancing. Uh, more time with friends, laughing and spending time with good friends. You know, sometimes when you're when you're extremely busy, and in my case, a working mom with a lot of jobs and a lot of kids, uh, friendships get put on the back burner. And so that is a very strong intention for me, spending more time with people who really matter and make me feel good. Getting my rest, big intention for 2020. I, this is something I'm carrying over from 2019, I've made this a huge focal point, and I cannot tell you how much better I feel just by prioritizing my sleep. Uh, this next one, and I need to grab my glasses, but this is a quote from Audrey Hepburn, who you know I love. It says, for beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with the knowledge that you are never alone. I absolutely love that. So of course, that's on here too. Uh, this one is an image of woman, a woman walking in Paris. She just epitomizes class, elegance, sophistication, simplicity. So I love that. This is my intention for cultivating quiet, romantic, uh, alone time with my husband. Very, very important, especially when life is so busy. The camera lens is reflective of two things. Obviously, my work in front of the camera, but also I enjoy creative photography. And so I want to spend more time behind the lens and working on my photographic skills. Obviously, exercise, I really love walking outside, taking in the scenery, and not to slack off on my supplements. I have them, they're there. I'm not as consistent as I would like to be, so supplements are there too. So there's my intention box, and I put on the outside here a little piece of greenery, just as a reminder to get myself back in nature and how important it is to be outside. All right, so now that you have seen the intention box, the next question may be, why the box? Why not just a board? Well, here is my little added layer to this. The box is here because I believe that structure and accountability are really important in following through. It's one thing to have this visual board, it's another to own it. And I think for me, ownership comes in the form of writing. And what I intend to do is check in with myself every month and write myself a letter about all of these things. How am I doing? How am I feeling? How is my life aligning with the message on this intention box? Are there areas where I'm really strong? Are there areas where I'm not devoting as much time or feeling neglect? How can I work to improve that? And so at the end of every month, I will write myself a letter, kind of a checking in to see where I can improve, focus on, or offer gratitude and celebration for the areas that I'm just nailing. And it's going to be nice because at the end of the year, there will be a collection of 12 letters in here, which then becomes this fabulous little memory and treasure box.
of how the year 2020 went. And it's something that I can store and keep and reflect upon in the future and build upon in the years to come. So that's why, to me, doing intentions, and especially in this way, speaks to me. If you're not much of a writer, that's not something that speaks to you in any way. I'm certainly not going to force you to do that. You can do an intention board or, or whatever, but I just think that there's something very powerful in getting our words out, to be able to speak our truth, write it out, without a filter, unapologetically, and put it away somewhere that is just for you. And, uh, you know, clarity. That's, that's what leads to clarity. So I am so curious to hear what it is that you want to focus on in the new year. What matters to you? Where are your priorities? Where's your vision? What's your focus? What are your hopes, dreams, and what are your intentions. Please leave those below in the comments section uh, because if you share an intention, you might provide an awakening for another woman who may not have thought of that and it could be just an epiphany that she needs to set her eyes and sights on something that she hadn't even considered before. So I really look forward to hearing those. I am so excited for the year 2020 and clarity and all that it brings and I can tell you that my first tutorial of the year will be a hair tutorial by request since uh, I got my hair cut a couple of weeks ago and all of you guys are asking, how do you do it? What's going on? So I will do that, that video for you and show you all sides, all angles, how to style and how to get versatility out of this style. So I wish you nothing but boldness and blessings always as we carry into this new year. Have a safe and happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you in 2020.